What does it mean to trust? We usually think of it as sort of a soft virtue, if you will, something that enables us simply to rest in the Lord and be at peace in Him. And it certainly does that. But trust also does something more. It enables us to dare and to do great things spiritually for the Lord. Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. It's what our Lord says to St. Peter on the Sea of Galilee. It's an invitation to trust. As Peter explains, they had been at it all night and hadn't caught a thing. And now here's this carpenter from Nazareth telling him about fishing. It's a risk for Peter to do this. He's physically tired. It would be taxing on him. It would also be a business risk. All those people on the shore seeing him perhaps fail again. It's an invitation to trust, put out into the deep. Peter does it. He trusts and he does great things as a result. Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Our Lord invites us to trust as well and to trust not only so that we can rest in him and be at peace in him, but more importantly, so that we can advance spiritually, so that we can dare great things and by his grace accomplish them. And so here's this week's challenge. Put out into deep water. That is, accept the invitation to trust. Trust in the Lord and in this year of mercy, especially as regards forgiveness. Whom do you need to ask for forgiveness? Or whom do you need to forgive? Put out into deep water, trusting in the Lord that in extending forgiveness and asking forgiveness, yes, we're taking a risk each time, but we're also daring something great for the Lord and he will reward that. And so spend time thinking about where in your life that forgiveness needs to take place. Put out into deep water. Trust in him. Don't trust a priest with no eyebrows. Subscribe here. <laughs>